Welcome back to Harvestella. It's still like only 6 p.m. So definitely time to like squeeze in one last little side quest before we call it a night. I think we'll be able to do that. So that'd be cool. We don't have anything else to do. Like I've already done all the relationship things. We have to sleep for the main story. So yep, <laughs> like side quests it is. And hopefully we'll get some seeds that we can use or something. Would actually like to get some full crops or something thing since we are quite close to the fall season now so we can go crazy when fall comes around and just plan a ton of stuff that would be amazing no one is allowed to enter this house i'm afraid oh yeah why is that okay i mean you don't usually just walk into people's houses <laughs> it's kind of trespassing <laughs> uh did something happen in there oh god they didn't like pass away or anything did they that is none of your concern if you have no business here, I must ask you to leave. Okay, do not bother me again. Well, that's kind of rude. <laughs> okay, that's right. Be on your way now. All right, don't have to like rub it in. Jeez, <laughs> what's wrong with you? What's your problem? Hey, you over there. Hello? Are you suspicious of this house too? <laughs> Let's go like ransack it. <laughs> Let's go break in. Oh, it's a child. Come over to the square. I want to talk to you. Okay. You shall not pass. It is like a Lord of the Rings like reference or something. <laughs> something like that. I don't know. All right. Let's go talk to the boy in the square in Arjun. I thought I was in the square, but okay then. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's go see what he has to say for himself. Maybe he wants to make a snowman with me since he's standing right beside one. Who knows? <laughs> Let's see what's going on kind of intrigued. Hey, over here. Yeah, I see you. What's up? Do you, uh, do you know the secret to the mysterious house? No, no. You just spoke to the priest who's outside that house, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I knew it. You think something's going on there too? Oh, it's time to investigate. I was waiting for someone like you to come along. Right, I guess you're just super nosy, <laughs> super curious. Well, you see, last night I heard something. Ooh, was it a g -g 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 ghost? <laughs> no? Okay. No? You believe in that stuff? Ooh, ouch. Being like <laughs> a kid saying that to me. <laughs> what I heard was a really scary voice coming from the house. Really scary. There was screaming and shouting. It sounded like a fight. It went on for ages. What if it was just like two parents just like arguing? But then suddenly, it went silent. Hmm, are you sure you heard fighting? How mysterious. Even if it wasn't a fight, something must have happened for them to be blocking off the house. Do you think it was a murder? I bet it's really bad. Something serious happened there in there last night, I'm sure of it. I told my parents, but they didn't believe me. They said they didn't hear anything and that I was probably dreaming. But I know for sure that I heard it. Hmm, maybe we should look into this. You know, I'm kind of intrigued. Yeah, you think so too, right? There's something fishy about that priest, I'm telling you. Standing there, blocking the house. Hmm, he's acting a bit strange. That much is true. Yeah, right? I want to know who he is. I know, I have an idea. We could go to the temple and find another priest. If we bring them here, they'll be able to tell us if he's genuine or not. That's actually a really smart idea for a child. Like, what? <laughs> that might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. I know, right? Oh, but actually, could you go to the temple and ask the priest for me? They might not believe me if I go. Uh, yeah, sure, leave it to me. Great, thanks. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the house, so let's meet here later. Okay, this is a very mature for a child, I have to say. <laughs> he knows what's going on. He knows how adults like act and react. So yeah, pretty clever. <laughs> Let's go inside and see if we can make sense of this whole scenario. That would be great. Looks like I almost tumbled then <laughs> when I spoke to the priest. Hello there, are you all right? Did you need me for something? Yes, father, I need healing. I see, he heard shouting coming from the house, did he? How very strange. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I can't think of who that priest at the door could be either. Hmm. 
Who is that priest then? Is he an imposter? Maybe he's a fake. <laughs> would better investigate. First, I would like to speak to the boy who says he heard the shouting. Could you take me to him, please? Wouldn't you think that he would go and investigate the priest first? Because, like, if he is faking it, wouldn't it be, like, defiling their order? Like, I don't know. I feel like they would want to do that first, but maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? There you go, teleported right next to him. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's see what they say. You're back, finally. Is it you who heard the shouting, child? Could you tell me more about... Hmm? Come with me. Excuse me? Sorry, Mr. Priest, there's no time. We need to get to that house, quick. Oh gosh, did something happen whilst we were away? All right, could you take me there? I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's this way. Something fishy is going on here, isn't it? <laughs> Look over there. Say what? What is wrong with you? Oh, please, don't act like you've forgotten what happened yesterday. You're not fooling me. It's you who's forgotten. What? Why do the priests look exactly the same? <laughs> Who is that other guy? I have no idea. Just now that guy came flying out of the house. That priest? Never mind. First things first, I ought to stop the, the fight. Do you know something about that priest guy? I'll come too. You stay here. I can't let you get caught up in a fight between adults. Ugh, fine. I mean, it's fair enough. <laughs> well then. Okay, they're off to sort it out. Shut up. If you keep shouting, the priest will... You two, stop arguing at once. Ugh, the real priest. They're like clones. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, would you care to explain yourself? I would appreciate it if we could keep it civil and you calmly handed yourself in. Ugh. He's impersonating him? Hey, wait. You, get back here. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Uh-oh. What do we do now? They both run away. Uh, I guess we catch them. It seems like the most logical conclusion. <laughs> I knew it. He was a fake priest after all. There's, there are still a lot of questions. But for now, let's focus on catching them. They headed towards the silent cave. Okay, so we need to go and catch them before they escape a Rooney. So that would be bad. Okay, so the silent cave is the, the seaside cave. That's what they're talking about, right? So let's go, in, let's go and make sure that they don't get away. We gotta sort them out and make sure there's no fake priests, like, you know, defiling the order. Although I feel like the order's already been defiled by that Kierkegaard guy. But like, you don't want the reputation to sink even lower than it already has, do you? Surely not. Actually, I think this is the wrong cave. Actually, I think it's the cave... I think I know where it is. Why is the map not working? The map's not working. <laughs> Maybe you can't put the map up on, on this screen. I don't know. It's in here. It's in the silent, the silent cave. It's in here somewhere. So we gotta, gotta go find where to go. Huh, I think this is the wrong exit. We should go to the other side. Actually, that would be much better. We're gonna have to do a little bit of walking, but not too much. So like, that's good. Don't think there's any more portals that will take us closer. So we're just gonna have to run the whole way. Sadly, that bomb is a level two. I only have level one bombs. So that sucks a little bit. I do wish I had a higher level bond, like bomb. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I forgot there's holes in this place. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. I don't know if I've ever been down in this hole before. I'm assuming I have. I'm just gonna leave it. It's like probably not a big deal anyway. We're right next to the, uh, the actual thing now. So like that's good. I don't know if that like took me closer or anything, but <laughs> that's good. That's good. Okay, so why do they just run to this random cave? This is also the end of the quest as well. You have some cheek chasing me all the way out here. Oh, I'm not done with you. I'll get you back for what you did to me. What he did to you? Did he scam you or something? Enough, both of you. Grow up, will you? Don't try running away again or things will get ugly. Now, will you hand yourself in? Hmm. 
Okay. Thanks, man. Thank you for cooperating. Well then, you'll be coming with me to Arjean. But before that, there are a few things that I want to clear up here and now. Yeah, we still don't know what happened. I'm kind of confused. <laughs> Let me in on it. We need to work out a few things before I can take you back to Arjean. Why did you impersonate a priest and block entry to that house? Hmm. Well, uh, this young boy here says that he heard fighting in there. What exactly happened? All right, I'll explain everything from the beginning. That night, a burglar intruded into my house. Oh no, there's a burglar around? I had just got home from work when I bumped right into him. From there, it turned into a scuffle. That's probably what the little boy overheard. I knew I heard shouting and screaming. But then, in the heat of the scuffle, I ended up shoving the burglar a bit too hard. He went flying and hit his head on the corner of a table. Oh, did he get amnesia? <laughs> I'm assuming that's what happened. When I came back to my senses, I realised he had lost consciousness. That's when I knew I did something that could never be undone. So then he... He went, he like transformed into a priest. He dressed up as a priest to atone for his sins. Is that why he did that? Is that why you blocked entry to the house? Yes, my father used to be a priest, so I used his old clothes. I thought that if I dressed up as a priest, people would listen to me and stay away from the house. Ah, oh, I wish that he was like, I want to atone for my sins, so I'm going to be a priest. <laughs> that would have been better. No matter your reasons, impersonating a priest is an unforgivable sin. You do understand that, don't you? What even worse than knocking someone unconscious? <laughs> yes, I know. And what about the burglar? Is his body still in the house? No, he's right here. Dun dun dun! What? He's alive? Man, that really hurt. I thought I'd had it too, you know. But humans are surprisingly sturdy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he like, kind of like played the victim this whole time. Like he was chasing after the priest. <laughs> he really did me some damage though, you know. Take responsibility, you coward. Says the burglar. You should hand yourself in too. <laughs> Definitely. That's right. In the end, you are the root cause of all of this. Huh? Hey, you're right. I'm the criminal here. I love how he's like only just realising. <laughs> Don't sound so excited. Look at all the trouble you've caused. Now that you mention it, he is the criminal here. If you didn't break into my house in the first place, I wouldn't have had to dress up like a priest. You're the one they should take away. You're busted, mister. Uh-oh. <laughs> the tables have turned. What? But it was only a little bit of burglarising. I only dressed up as a priest. You need to be reported. Hey, don't get carried away. You're a fraud yourself. Both of you have committed sins, albeit of varying severity. You will both come back to me too, Arjean. Seriously? Doesn't matter if it's a little bit or a lot. It's both, they're both crimes. <laughs> oh man, I'm out of luck. Yes, you are. I'll take them back to the temple. So this is where we part ways. Well, that was a really quick quest. I feel like that didn't last very long at all, <laughs> but that's okay. Those guys are weird. <laughs> a little bit. At least they're gone now. The streets are safer for our intervention. <laughs> Lives can get pretty out of control, huh? That reminds me, I need to get home. Do you have plans? Is it past curfew? I lied about doing my homework so I could come out. See ya! I hope you learnt something <laughs> from this whole ordeal. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Some cabbage and bean seeds. Very nice. I will plant them up and make beautiful crops out of them. And it will be a glorious moment. Okay, I'm going to yoink myself out of here. I can't be bothered to like walk all the way out. This just seems the the best way to go about doing it. Let's put all the things away and these are fall and spring and winter crops. Okay, that's cool though. Um, so we've got like a couple of hours. So I'll do a bit of crafting and that will probably be it for the rest of the night. Should we make a mayonnaise maker? Let's make one of those. I haven't got one of these. So like, why not see about making some 
little makers here. A spice maker. Make one of those. That would be great. Very nice. I'll have to find a place for these for sure. I don't think I really need to make those um, those other things. What else? Can we make any dishes? We can make a couple of these stir fries. So I have to use gourmet food. I'll make a gourmet mountain stir fry. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I think that's like it. Um, Are you taking good care? I might be able to make a few repair kits or something. Just like so the time isn't completely wasted. We're actually doing really good on crafted items though. Like really good. So that's good. Alright, bedtime. Let's see if we get any main story progression tomorrow. I hope so. That'd be awesome. Didn't make too much money, but it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. All right then, are we going to evening time? Nope, straight to the morning time. We actually are well rested and ready to go. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Oh, did you finish the, the, the device? The Omen communication device? She was working all night. Just tell her that she needs to go sleep. I think I've almost got it. Oh yeah? Good stuff. I think that should do it. I'll set output to multi-directional. We should be able to catch a signal if they're using something similar. Do we have to wait for the signal to come in or is it just gonna just gonna work? This is kind of exciting. I wonder if the omens even pay attention to signals from unknown sources. I don't know. Found immediate who in Oh, looks like we got one already. That's good. It actually worked. We got a response. Repeat, this is of illusion com type ep the source. This communication is unregistered. Confirm your identi ad identifier. Our identifier? I'm sorry, but we don't have one of those, just names. Does this mean we're speaking with omens right now? Pardon? Did you say omens? Yes, I believe I was quite clear. This is some kind of... Oh, there is some kind of commotion among the omens. What's wrong? If you are really are omens, then I have a few questions. That's why I'm sending this transmission in the first place. You're calling us omens, that must mean you you are human, correct? Yep, I'm human. Then we ask that you return it, and we will forget this ever happened. Return what? Nope, sorry, this one is mine. It's nothing like yours at all. Do you really expect us to believe that? Why, whatever do you mean? I get it though. Things have been pretty hectic for us too. Speaking of which, hmm, uh, tell us about Geist. Did you say Geist? That's right, and don't play coy. We know everything there is to know already. She's bluffing. <laughs> and that includes your goal to use the sea slight for some evil scheme. Say word, the commotion picks up again. What's wrong? Lost for words. Apologies, allow us to rephrase our question. You know about Geist, correct? That's right, your friend is responsible for everything awful that's happened. That is classified. Only those with F rank clearance can access it. It is considered morally grey, but we cannot overlook the fact that an Abel have, has come into possession of such information. Who are you? How regressible. Oh God. <gasps> he just walked through the front door like there's nobody's business. Okay, you worms, hold away in your castle of illusion. You have no idea who this girl is, do you? No. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> it's you! What happened? Who's there? I can't have you meddling anymore. Your existence is far too important to them. What are you? Is she being kidnapped? Yeah! Oh no! They kidnapped Aria! Take her away! What? Where are you taking her? What the heck is going on? And you are? Oh, that's right. You were the one loitering around the sea slide before. Man, his armour looks super cool though, I have to admit. <laughs> you can struggle against the walls of your cage, but you cannot change the world from inside it. Nothing is achieved without adversity. We must confront the truth with reason. Um, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what you're chatting about, but... Give Aria back. How dare you? <laughs> Let's go outside. Maybe we can stop them before they leave, but... 
Probably not. What did he mean, castle of illusion? Like what? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, hey, Krez. Omen's just stole Aria, you know. <laughs> is what it is. Aria? Guys, airship will fly away at any moment. Can we hitch a ride? You're going after them? Like, of course. Uh, that's right. Uh, naturally. What do you expect? The look in your eyes says it all. You know how dangerous this is, but I guess that's not enough to dissuade you, is it? Take this with you. What, what have you got for me? A soma potion? It'll be useful in a pinch. Come back in one piece. Okay? Am I just leaving my farm duties to go and rescue Arya? <laughs> what about my farm? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Of course Arya is more important. <laughs> oh, do we actually get to go inside the airship? Because that thing looks cool. Can we, like, hijack it? And, like, use it across the world map? That'd be amazing. That'd be so cool. I don't know, though. Oh my gosh. Is it going to be a battle on the deck? Like, Final Fantasy X style? Apologies for the unceremonious welcome. Hmm. I guess by your tone that you don't intend to eat me. <laughs> so what is it? Where are you taking me? To the root of this false world. False world? He did say it's a world of illusion. Is this world not real? False? Wait. You mentioned something similar the first time we met, right? What the hell is your goal here? Yes, it's natural you should ask. And I suppose there is no harm in you knowing that much. Perhaps then you will seize your incessant protest protestations. Excuse me? Okay, out with it. So, as for my goal, I'm not going to get to- Aw, oh, I don't get to see it. I'm on the Omen airship. How cool is this, baby? <laughs> this is one heck of a- One heck of a- Nice airship going on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this place looks amazing. It's so fancy. I want it for myself. <laughs> so cool. All right. Um, I guess we got to go through this door in, I don't know, try and rescue Aria or something. Am I going to be able to get her back quickly? Is there any chance that you might join me in my endeavor? Are you kidding? There's no way I'd help with something like that. I have no idea what he suggested. Now let me off this ship. There must be an emergency parachute or something in here. <laughs> an emergency, like an eject button. Oh, yo, that was uncool. How dare you? You thought I would let you flee? The Castle of Illusion is already aware of your existence. I cannot simply allow you to do as you please. Ooh, story's getting interesting here. I wonder what's going on. Aria! Let her go. I have no recollection of calling you here. <laughs> I can see your vigour will be nothing but a thorn in my side. It was you who destroyed Kierkegaard, correct? Then I will crush you here before you meddle in my plans any further. Dun, dun, dun. All right, then. Ow. Um, oh, no. I think he actually might kill me Um, at this point. Holy smokes, um, I need to quickly, <laughs> yep, I'm dead, 13,000 he just did, I think I'm supposed to die, <laughs> I tried, I tried to live, but it was all for naught, <laughs> pathetic, the Abels truly are such an unrefined species, how rude, whatever, I must take the girl where she needs to go, you will follow no further. Done, done, done. That sword is epic. I gotta have one. Goodbye. Well, at least he said goodbye. <laughs> Ow! I got thrown overboard. Am I gonna be in like unfamiliar, an unfamiliar area now? Because like I've been to all the areas like around the farm and stuff, so maybe we'll go to a different like part of the, the map. Come, you uncouth scoundrel. Are you alive or are you dead? Quickly now, answer me. Um, oh, it's the <laughs> it's the unicorn. Uh, where am I? Huh? So you finally awoke it awaken? I must say, who is quite peculiar of you to fall from that flying contraption? And where is my thanks? Without my illustrious presence, you would have surely perished. <laughs> Why, thank you. What a darling you are, Mister Unicorn. That hovering dirigible belongs to the omens, does it not? 
What would they want with Castle Lewis? You don't suppose they, they're up to something nefarious, do you? Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, we get an actual cutscene. How interesting. So they're going, that's the Castle of Illusion, Castle Lewis. I guess that makes sense. Okay. What the heck are they doing? Are they blowing it up? Um, okay. I wasn't expect them to, expecting them to do that. Get back here. Just what sort of evil are you planning, you buoyant monstrosity? The princess is in peril. We must hasten to her rescue. Oh, why am I not surprised to see you here? The princess is Aria, isn't it? It's gotta be. <laughs> I heard there was an omen airship circling Castle Lewis, but I didn't realise that this is what would greet me. Perhaps they're occupying the castle to use as a stronghold should they declare war on the humans. Hmm, is the capital in danger? I believe so. I ordered the rest of the church to be on guard while I came to investigate. Which is why I hired protection. It seemed he was looking for something to do anyway. Is it Bracca? <laughs> it's gotta be Bracca. <laughs> that makes sense. Hey, yo, what's up? I trust you will fulfill the role I have hired you to do. Yup, you don't need to tell me twice. I was getting pretty tired of hearing everyone spreading rumours about the omens in the capital anyway. Shatola was abuzz with omen rumours this morning as well. This will be, oh uh, yeah, the two from Shatola. Everyone's going to gather. Do you think the people in the castle are okay? One can hope. These are omens after all. They don't look too kindly on us humans. Word has it that Princess Liddell of Castle Lewis is a vision of beauty unparalleled. I could never forgive anyone or anything that should try to injure such elegance. You mean they wish to harm my princess? I will not permit it. We haven't a moment to lose. Hmm. We have to save Aria. Mm -hmm. Aria's trapped on that airship too? That won't do at all. In that case, we'd best remove the omens inside and rescue her, hadn't we? Glad to see you've been keeping well, Mossy. Mm hmm. You two came all the way from Nemia. Hey, guys. We were at the doctor's in Lefe picking up medicine and when we heard, and Asiel just had to come. Well, I couldn't just stand by when I heard you and Aria had been picked up by an omen airship. Multi, it seems we've all been infected by your psychophanic tendencies. Damn, I think I just got insulted. <laughs> Regardless, we can't sit by while Aria is in danger. Let's go help her. He's right. She's always been so kind to me. True, Aria's come to our aid on many an occasion, right, Bracca? <laughs> I'll invoice you for this later, Mossy. What? It should be free. <laughs> While I admire everyone's heroic determination, there doesn't look to be any means of reaching them. Then let us take to the water. These magnificent hooves are good for more than just a good canter. Don't be ridiculous. You do know nobody has ever entered this lake and survived, right? She's right. There are tales of a lord of the lake that devours anyone who falls in. Uh, very well, then this calls for my celestial vessel. Your what now? Ha! Woo, what's he doing? What are you doing? What is going on? Praying. He's summoning. Oh, beloved princess, please hear my solemn plea. Open a path so that we may reach you. You're kidding. <laughs> Can he like part water? <laughs> like, he's Jesus. <laughs> What's going on? He could do that this whole time. Why didn't he do that earlier if he wanted to save his princess so badly? <laughs> the stray bullets have let down the drawbridge. Looks like we can cross. <laughs> My princess was listening. We're coming for you, your majesty. Huh. Okay, that was unexpected. He's rather intense, wouldn't you say? That's what we like about him. <laughs> or perhaps we're too complacent. Now quickly, to Castle Lewis. Oh my gosh, we actually get to go inside there. Super cool. Alrighty. We got to activate this little thing over here. Do we want to do it right now? I don't think we do. I haven't even done my chores or like anything just yet. We can take a little breather before we go and head into Castle Lewis. I got all these um, mails uh, to read through as well. I'm writing you this letter from inside my cell. 
Did you hear the stories about the ghosts that haunt this place? I hear stuff at night, you know, like a co co no sound. But whatever it is, it isn't human. I think the geezer who got caught with me can hear it too. It's probably the grieving of the prisoners who faced judgment before us. What do you think is going to happen to me? From the guy passing as a priest? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that sounds pretty brutal. I'm sorry for worrying you. Dim was pretty upset. A doctor shouldn't be the one making others worry. Nonetheless, if I hadn't done what I did, I wouldn't have made my tremendous discovery. Ooh, she's made a discovery. Rosny's been in contact again. She, she says she'll tell us the truth behind what she's been doing. I guess it looks like the organisation is still going. I will continue down the road I've chosen. Okay, so I've got to go meet her. Thank you again for your help. It may take some time to war, uh, for the war so to return its, to its former clarity, but I'm glad it was nothing more serious. Okay, a new danger has reared its head and I wish to discuss it with you from Shrieka. This is from Bracca. I'll be hanging out near Lethe, but not because I want to see you or anything, Bracca. <laughs> don't you dare talk to me if you see me. I don't want you sticking your nose into my business, got it? <laughs> God, he's such a Cyndiere, isn't he? <laughs> Jeez, that's not a Cyndiere, I don't know what is. <laughs> well, we got quite a few quests and things to... uh to tackle so I'm looking forward to doing that definitely Let's just make sure we water all our crops before we do anything else because I don't want them to like die or anything but yeah that was cool we actually got a little bit of story progression today very nice I don't think we need to worry about you know watering too much of this very nice. Got some little crappies Hello, harvested. Little crappies. Drink up, Water those. Fantastic. Do we have anything else to harvest? Those aren't ready. I thought they were, but nope. Those are not quite done. That's all right, though. Those ones done? Nope, those are not done either. Okay, I can put in some carrots. Put some carrots in there. These are also done. Put those in. I can't do any of those. We'll have to you know, put those down somewhere. I'm going to put down these new machines that I just got. I don't know where, but I will find a space for them somewhere. You can go there. And we also have a spice maker that I'm sure we can put somewhere. Um, somewhere. <laughs> I will put it here. That will do. Spice maker. Okay, let's like grab some paprikas because I got a lot of these oh and also I will grab some grass and I might need some meat I don't know if the smoker's finished I'm not too sure but we'll we'll work it out can't put anything in there I can put what happens if I put a carrot in the feed maker I don't know if I've ever tried that before I'm not too sure we'll we'll find out I guess put that in there don't think I got anything else to really put in if I'm being honest with you we're just gonna leave that going I think that I think needs eggs and stuff so yeah we'll do that in a second let's go and sort out the animals that would be great here go little chickies very nice let's go check the uh, animals on this side Fantastic. I'm right. I've got no room. <laughs> no, that sucks. It's okay though. What we'll do. Oh, there's a Soma potion. An extremely rare drink. I wish I had the recipe for that. That would be fantastic. Sadly, I don't. So that sucks. Okay, put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Put that in. Okay, what else have we got going on here? Um, the meat can go back in. I'm not sure. I don't need the grass actually, so I already got something going in there. We got some feed to put in over here, so let's do that actually before I forget. There we go. That's good. Make sure they're all pested. Let's check the the feed for these guys. See how much is in there. 14. They're still doing good, so we don't need to worry about that for the moment. So that's good. So we got some eggs and we've got. Um, milk. So put milk in here. I also have eggs, maybe mayonnaise maker. I'm sure I made one. Oh, I need more eggs. 
Okay, maybe I'll make some of the eggs that I've got into the mayonnaise maker. Let's do that. That'd be great, actually. Let's go ahead and make some of those. Maybe make a little bit of money. That'd be awesome. So I'm not making too much progress on that front, am I? <laughs> uh, let's go to the waterside biome. Check all our other biomes. See how those are doing. So I haven't visited these in a little bit. See how they're getting on. Still not grown, unfortunately. We'll have to check back another time. How many quests have I got now then? So I've got all of these to do. All right. Looks like I can't continue with these two for whatever reason, but that's okay. All good. Let's go to the cave biome, see if anything has grown over here. I think we're still in a waiting game here, aren't we? I have no idea what you're saying, girl, but like, sure. <laughs> whatever you say. All right, then. Well, we could probably get away with squeezing in one little relationship thing. Who with, though? Let's have a look. Let's just get Krezes done. Krezes are usually boring, uh, but she's the closest character to us. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and get one of her relationship quests done. Like, because I like to do side things first before main story things. So, so I would rather do that. Let's go to the general store for a little teleport to get a bit closer. Oh, that's Estinia, is it? Oh, no, that's Bracca. I don't know what he's doing there. I thought that was for Krezes, but nope, someone completely different. <laughs> that's okay, though. I don't think I need to bring any particular materials over here or anything, but that's fine. So she's had a breakthrough with her research, as far as I am aware, and that's what this this uh, relationship quest here is currently about. All right. Ah, Mousy, you read my letter. I did. Said something important happened. How's it going? That's right. It's about the patient from before. Oh, yeah? I see. What happened? He just passed away a few days ago. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. So she didn't do it in time. After what I found in the diary, I went and spoke to the patient and his family. I see. I proposed the idea of changing his medication to alleviate his symptoms instead of trying to cure them. What did they say? I was surprised at how quickly they came to a decision. I guess it was only me who was wrestling with the problem until the bitter end. Hmm. You tried your best, Krez. She did indeed. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah, <laughs> there's no need to worry or cheer me up. I did all I could do as a doctor. Okay, so there's nothing to be depressed over. I think you're depressed though, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you, you can't lie to me. It's written all over your face. I'm a terrible liar. Yes, you are. It's hard not to feel overwhelmed every time I am unable to save someone's life. There's never, never an occasion when I don't fully realise my own incompetency despite doing everything I can to help. Oh, you tried, girl. Even with you there to help me, there was nothing we could do. It was all for nothing. It wasn't all for nothing. Don't say that. You tried your best. Mousy, I don't think I can. Don't say it. Don't give up. Excuse me, is Dr. Krez available? Has something happened? Is everything okay? I'm sorry to drop by so suddenly, but I really need to speak to you. About your brother, right? Look, Doctor, I want to tell you. I'm sorry. Pardon? I'm so sorry I wasn't able to save your brother. Aw. Please don't apologise. You gave my family exactly what we had hoped for. What? My brother was smiling, even before he died. Neither me nor my parents expected to see him smile again. He was able to say goodbye to his friends. He spoke to everyone who had ever treated him with kindness. His illness had made him give up on, a, on doing a lot of things, but he was able to do them all anyway. It made, him, it made it easier for him to come to terms with his own death. You helped him do that, Dr. Krez. I... I wanted to thank you, you know, for giving my brother the time that he had left. So, yeah, you can be proud of that, Krez. Like, something good came out of this in the end. 
Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. There's no need to thank me, I wasn't able to do anything. But I appreciate the sentiment. I'm sorry for taking up your time. Thank you for listening. Ah, oh, no, of course. Take care. I mean, it's not the outcome she wanted, but it's better than, you know, no outcome. <laughs> like, at least she made someone happy. Can we talk outside? Okay. Behind the mayor's house? Sure thing. I wonder what she wants to say. Maybe she's going to uh, tell us how she feels or something. Okay, so up this way. All right, that's easy enough to to get to. This is a nice view back here as well, I have to say. <laughs> that's nice. I hope she's not, like, too hard on herself after all of that. Oh, it's been a while since I came out here to calm down. I've been wound so tight doing research and working on that cure this whole time. How are you holding up? Are you doing okay? Uh, well enough. Sleep is definitely on the agenda. <laughs> I bet. I'm sorry about what I said before, about your help being pointless. It wasn't true at all. Without you, I wouldn't have found a means of alleviating that patient's symptoms. What his sister said about giving him back the time he had left, that was because of you. Because of the materials? Really? So thank you, you know, for sticking by me. It was an honour to work beside you, my friend. Very nice. I certainly didn't expect to receive a word of thanks from his younger sister. I expected her to hold a fierce grudge. I mean, that's good. I think she was grateful. Mm-hmm. I think so too. You did your best, Doctor. We were able to let the patient spend more time together with his family. It's just like my dad said. Doctors can't cure everything. I used to hate those words. They would push me to never give up. But I had it the wrong way round. It's because we can't cure everything that we need to think more about what we can do for the patient. That was what my dad strove for as a doctor. Your dad was a good doctor then. Good stuff. Honestly, I can't say for sure. It'll be a long time before I get an answer. I think this is a step in the right direction for Krez though. But I finally understand. You hear that, Dad? I'm going to follow in your footsteps. So I'd like you and Mum to keep watching over everyone. Ah, Dim, the people of Lethe, and Mossy too. And me too? Oh, shucks. Because I'm going to keep giving everything I've got. Yeah, that's the spirit. One more relationship thing with Krez. That was kind of heartwarming at the end there. I haven't really been too fond of Kreza's storyline, but that was kind of, like, nice at the end there, I have to admit. Well, I think that would do for today. We will continue with some more progression next time. Finish up some of these relationship things. Finish up the side th quest as well. I don't think we had many left, and then I'll focus on the story. I think that would be uh, cool, actually. Anyway... Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel. And it'd be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.